just finished watching Daisy Jones and the Six, the TV show, you know, the adaptation. And my thoughts on it are that it was pretty good. I am very happy to say that I did read the book in the summer, so I did have some expectations for the adaptation of course overall they were definitely met now i will say while i was reading the book i was imagining daisy as this like really badass character you know whereas in the show i feel like she wasn't that badass i feel like she was kind of a softy in the show so didn't really like that very much and i was imagining her with like really vibrant red hair so that's that but other than that uh, it's definitely like a good adaptation you know so i think they did a really good job and now i'm definitely excited to watch the other adaptations of taylor jenkins reads books because i also read the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and malibu rising they're going to adapt them into a tv show slash movie as well so i'm really excited to watch those now i'm about to go to uni it's thursday and tomorrow on friday my classmate and i are actually gonna go on a very quick trip to Bucharest because there's like a activity thing going on trust me I don't know for students of university and high school and it's going to be in French and yeah I don't know it's something about Ukraine and I generally have no idea but it's going to be a bunch of guests who are probably going to talk and we're just gonna sit and listen but hey it's better than going to uni right so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and we're supposed to come back the same night, tomorrow night, but my classmate and I decided to stay a night in Bucharest and just uh, visit around a little bit on Saturday and come back on Saturday. That is the plan for the next couple of days. I will try to vlog, but I don't know how much I'll get to. At the activity, at least, you know, it's probably going to be very boring and obviously like a bunch of important people there. So I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog there. But then on Saturday, I do feel a little bit awkward vlogging around my classmate, but I at the same time, I'm gonna let her choose uh, what to do on Saturday and where to go. And I have a feeling it's going to be places that I've already been to and that I've already showed you. So there's that, but I will, you know, try it to vlog as much as possible. So yeah. to pack for tomorrow since we're only staying for one night obviously i don't have to pack a lot but i still have to pack some things like some pajamas you know a second shirt and some skincare and makeup so i'm going to try to fit everything in in this bag i used to use this for high school but uh, now i don't use it anymore because it's too big but yeah, hopefully i can fit everything in in here i have some things with bt21 and um and the keychain with hanji song from stray kids and since i'm going to be taking that backpack with me probably at the activities at the french institute i don't want to carry another backpack with me you know so i think uh, you know for the little bag that i am gonna carry i think i'm gonna take this tote bag with me i don't really use tote bags and i don't have tote bags this one was given to me by my friend and it says ccc shelly in wonderland shelly is actually a romanian youtuber vlogger influencer and he does other things as well he's like my age and i really really like him and a few weeks ago he was in bucharest uh, at this store ccc you might know this this is a shoe brand and he's had a collaboration with ccc so he was there in bucharest hosting a meet and greet and filming a vlog and my friend who lives in bucharest who i've shown in my vlogs before she went there not to his meet and greet but yeah she like went there to meet him and he even filmed her and i think she's gonna appear in his vlog he still hasn't posted it but yeah she took a selfie with him and stuff and she asked him to film a video dedication for me so he did it you know i have a video of him saying hi to me and like thank you for your support and things like that which was really funny but uh, really nice of her to ask him to do that for me and yeah she received this tote bag and she gave it to me because uh, i'm a huge fan of shelly 
just kidding like i'm not a huge fan but i do like him so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take this with me i also have this pin that says parle francais c'est cool so i think i'm gonna stick it onto this since i'm going to a french thing Pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm poking out. of what i got from primark in bucharest i got this black shirt with a lot of frills or i don't know what these are called but i thought it looked really cute and it was around like 10 euros or less than 10 euros so i really like it it has a v-line neck and yeah i'm excited to wear this i also got my mom a plain black t-shirt but it's not here i gave it to her and then i got some beauty blenders the price was really good some fake nails of course i got these funky colored ones these are really cute and then of course some uh, simple neutral ones i mean i couldn't resist but this is it you know like these are the last fake nails that i'm gonna buy because i already have like five pairs and i think it's enough so yeah i got these and of course some nail glue for them and that's all i got from primark mm -hmm. 